I came from a very poor family, poor education. I love to make friends. I love to have a fun. So I want to be back to myself. This is what I, I do anything, a lot of things that any boy want to do, I want to do. I was so bad at schooling. I failed again and again in my uni university and high school test. I tried three years for entering university. I'm looking for a lot of jobs, all filled. People don't want, a, don't want me. They say, I know, even looking for a job in a hotel, they say, hey, you're not good looking enough. So I uh, discovered the internet in Seattle, 1994, in, uh, in December. I searched the word beer. There's no beer information on the internet from China. There's a Japanese beer, German beer, US beer. And then I searched China, say there's no data about China. So I thought about, hmm, if I can put some Chinese information on the web, when people find out, that might be a good opportunity. So I did not know internet would be that big. I just want looking for a job. The first two, three years for Alibaba was, uh, was a disaster. We did not have a business model. People in China did not believe the internet. People did not believe e-commerce. The early days when we have, because we had a strange name, Alibaba, people say, ah, uh, what, a, what a company. A lot of people think it's a company of telling lies. Nobody want to join us. Those people who think they're smart, after half a year, they all gone. They start to build up their own. They don't believe our model. They don't believe by helping others, by helping small business, you can make money. Because that 20 years ago, only by helping big companies, you can make money. By helping small companies, you don't have a chance. So smart people left us. Those people believe they are excellent. The headhunting company all come, they headhunt our people. We are the people nobody even come to hand us. <laughs> so we stayed, we have no choice, we don't have any company to go, but we believe our future. Honestly, we all graduate from the very poor schools. Um, the only thing we did was that we are very united, we all believe the future, we are all optimistic, and we learn through mistakes, we never give up. People worry about uh, high technology, but young people don't worry about it. I feel very few young people worry about the future. Only senior people worry about it. Ah, you know, one day when we Alibaba used to be on PC, and then suddenly we moved to the mobile phone. A lot of people complain, ah, mobile phone too small, how can you do shopping on such a mobile phone screen? And later we realized because we generation, our eyes are shut, so getting old. Young people never thought think it's a small. They think it's a big enough. Next to 30 years, the artificial intelligence, the robots, all the high tech will, will do a lot of, will replace a lot of jobs. This is for sure. When human being design invented computers, human beings should know that computer will be much smarter than human beings. They remember, they calculate faster, and they never get upset. They always keep on doing things. But don't worry about it. Machine can never win human beings. Machine can do only things machine can do better. Human beings have hearts. Machine doesn't only, machine only have chips. A lot of people today have a lot of complaints. Say, I don't have opportunity. I complain a lot when I was young and suddenly realized complaint does not solve any problem. There are so many opportunities in the world, in this world, because there are so many complaints. If you can solve the complaint, one of the complaints, that's the opportunity. So this is what we, we made. I think young people, if my advice to be an entrepreneur, don't be scared of failure or setbacks, and don't give up. There, 
people, there are a lot of books written about Alibaba, about me. If there's a book I want to write, it's Alibaba 1001 Mistakes. We came today to now. We made so many mistakes. People say, you are lucky. Yes, we are very lucky. We've been only 19 years to, to today's size. But we gone through so many tough situations. We made so many mistakes that people cannot even imagine, probably 90 years. You have gone through so many tough experiences, and that will make you different. The day when I told my 17 founders in my apartment, I said, if Jack Ma and his team can be successful, 70 or 80% of young people in China can be successful. We're not smart, we don't have money. We don't have technology. We don't have anything. The only thing is that we work together for future. So we said, if we succeed, 80% of young people in the world, they can be successful. That was who we are. We hire people. They're ready to learn. They're ready to take risks. They're ready to fail. And they're ready to suffer. And we believe maybe 15, 20 years later, they will be the expert of their own field of the history. That's what we think.